All right, guys, I'm in El Castillo, about 30 minutes from La Fortuna uh, at an Airbnb. And I want to show you around this Airbnb, but I also want to talk to you a little, about, a little bit about El Castillo, because if you've never heard of it, it might be a better option to Fortuna, because Fortuna is getting pretty touristy and very crowded. Anyway, I'm going to turn it off my mug and show you where, uh, where I'm at. This is El Castillo. The volcano, Arenal Volcano, is right there. So Fortuna is uh, about 30 minutes away around the lake and back in, that kind of thing. So this lake is Lake Arenal, and it's 26 miles long. One of the most underused lakes must be in the world, I tell you. It's a beautiful lake. There are things to do out there, but you just look at it. You don't, you almost never really see a bunch of people out there, except for maybe a, a holiday or something. So a little bit about El Castillo. You can see, show you the other view. Very hilly, beautiful. A lot of nice houses up there. There's, a, there's restaurants up there. But the thing I'm, I'm really digging about El Castillo is I just think it's a good option with Fortuna getting as crowded as it is because you can do all the stuff here, you know, too. I mean, they got the lake. You, uh, they do have a little like a beach place where everybody goes. A lot of locals there. Uh, you can definitely rent the kayaks and do that. They got, you know, bars down there. So you can do a lot of stuff here. It's, and it's beautiful. It's just not as touristy. Now, you're probably going to need a four-wheel drive because some of these hills are pretty steep <laughs> going around. Now, where am I at, though? I'm at a place called Bentanitas. It used to be a coffee shop. I've done a, I've done a video about it before. It's a restaurant. It's under that roof. It is extremely popular with both locals, the Ticos, and the tourists. Why? Because it's good food and it's it's very reasonably priced and it's gotten very uh, popular these last couple of years and he's he's become somewhat of a friend. His name is Kelly and his wife run this place, but they they added this Airbnb and I <clears throat> I was out here a few days ago and he took me up here to this Airbnb and I decided hey I want to come out and stay there for a couple of nights so that's what uh, I did. Check it out, very cute. That's different. <laughs> a tub. Got the air conditioning. Nice bathroom. So I'm staying. This is my second night. I'm staying here three nights. Just chilling mostly. Everything is here. Good internet. All that. But the great thing is I, we can just go downstairs and have lunch and dinner or get in the car and drive around. There's some nice restaurants around here uh, in, in El Castillo. The reason I'm not uh, walking around and going downstairs to show you the uh, restaurant, my, I, uh, my back is killing me. I haven't had it hurting this uh, bad in quite a long time. So I'm trying not to give it too much of a workout. So if you're in the La Fortuna area, I would say you want to get, get away from the crowds, maybe during high season, maybe take a little trip, 30 minutes. And then the other thing is around here is where SkyTrack is. SkyTrack is, is uh, the best zip line here. They got the hanging bridges. You got Aaron Observatory Lodge, which is a really nice day pass. They got uh, nice trails there, animals, the whole thing. We, we point a lot of people there. You don't have to be staying there to go in there and enjoy, uh, and enjoy it. So you definitely got, and then a lot of the parks, Aaron National Park, uh, one called 1968. Those are all over, you know, they're all of them like within, you know, 20 minutes, 15 minutes. So I just wanted to do a quick video, um, show you El Castillo if you never heard of it. Nope. Check it out on the, I don't know, whatever you use to search places to go and, and all the, uh, the uh, apps work here, you know, the Waze app and um that so it's not it's not uh, difficult finding out where you want to go so if you don't want to stay at the airbnb highly recommend this little bar restaurant for lunch and dinner and you got to get there because it gets pretty crowded hamburgers eight bucks man a really good hamburger for like 850 sweet beautiful day been raining a lot here though so it's going to be it, the next couple hours 
which is beautiful, by the way. Sit out here. Oh, misty. Anyway, guys, just a quick video. Just wanted to show you what's up. If you have any questions let me know i can get you in contact with this with this guy or if you want thought this airbnb was kind of cool anyway guys i'm michael allen travelcostarican.com and i am going to go rest my back